Hey everyone, I'm joined by Thermal Mike from Thermal Take. We're here in their offices. So Mike's going to show us how to do a bend in a tube for an open loop liquid cooling setup. Uh, I have not done one of these before. We've worked a lot with the AIOs, as you've all seen, but uh, open loop is something that I'm still new to. So I was hoping you could give us an overview of how it all works. Oh, I, I, I'm definitely very excited that you guys are here, and uh, definitely really cool to be able to give you the opportunity <laughs> to uh, you know Try do some out. do some hard tube bedding. So yeah, like you know, this is a PETG tubing. You know, pretty durable stuff. <laughs> You're not going to really run into issues with this, but uh, it is also very pliable. So being able to uh, mold and shape this to give a really cool design for your next liquid cold PC. So what do we have here, just soap water? So yeah, um, this is just basically, you know, regular soap, nothing special with water. Um, works real good because it helps uh, prevent the evaporation of the water mm. inside, so there is a reason for it. Right. Um, you can use other stuff, but this cleans up the best. And your gotcha. hands are usually pretty clean afterwards <laughs> too. So it uh, definitely serves a couple of purposes. So I have my insert that I put in here. This is a specific insert designed for this tubing. It's real important because if the insert doesn't fit right, mm -hmm. you go to bend this, it's going to gap out. You know, you could have some weird misshapen bends and stuff. So getting the right insert for the tube is definitely number one. Now that we have this here, we're just going to start off with like, we'll do a simple 90 bend. Sure. Got our heat gun. Um, again, nothing special. I mean, I got this on a sale. Right. Used, you know, using the coupon. <laughs> you know, getting the good heat gun. So uh, this is a heat gun, you're just warming up the tube so that it becomes malleable, I guess. Yeah, so as I spin this, as you see here, I just slightly rotating it, kind of you think about, you know, you're cooking dinner, you know. <laughs> um, you, you just keep rotating it, getting even heat. Um, same with like the height here. Mm. It's 1500 watts, so it gets pretty hot. Um, I do run it on a higher setting, okay. mostly because I've done this a lot. Right. Um, so, you know, it's kind of just from your feel. And you can see, I'm starting to oh. get, see, it's starting <laughs> to get a little wiggle. This will just uh, start softening up here. And you don't want to go too far, um, but you do want to get enough so, you know, you'll get a nice good bend. So, How so do you know when to stop? Um, a lot of it's just, you know, that the, you know, the flexibility that right. you start to see in it. You'd be like, oh, okay, because I can just be like, boom, and just be like 90 degree bend. You nice. know, or if I need to do like a 45 or something. Um, and then we also have, you know, of course, our, our bending kit here. Uh, this is our uh, Thermal Take hard tube bending kit. I got it fixed on my little board. <laughs> so, you know, before this cools, let's just kind of, Get this set in here. I might have took a little too long for that, but for the most part, this will give you basically that perfect 90 bend every time. Um, that's what a lot of people look for, so that way everything's uniform, sure. you know, and you get those nice straight bitching lines everybody's looking <laughs> for, you know. Um, and I mean, it's it's pretty quick. I mean, a lot of this stuff, you know, it's still a little warm to the touch, but not too bad. Um, and then it it'll stay rigid like this. Once this cools, um, I mean, it's going to be solid. I mean, I've done some crazy stuff, you know, spelling out letters, you know, just doing other little bends that you can do from short little pieces, you know, just going from rad to water block or doing bigger runs, you know, from pumps right. and stuff, you know, where you get some pretty crazy shapes. So a lot of this will be done here. This will be like our first bend that we'll have. And then, you know, definitely important too is that once you're done, you know, make sure you'll remove your, uh, you know, your silicone insert because mm -hmm. if this dries inside here and you got some wicked bends going on, it'd be really hard to get out, especially if you start to do something a little bit right. more intricate. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of the intro level of like a 90 degree bend. Um, let's get you a fresh piece sure. and dude, I'll, I'm excited. Let's see <laughs> this. So this kit, you've got, what are the other options here? You have a 180 and a 360. So so, so you have a you get a you get a 360, you get the 90 and the 45 or uh -huh. 135, and then the 180. So right. your horseshoe shapes, um, you know your standard 90s and 45s that are more traditional. A lot of people use, and then even like a 360. Um, sometimes I can use this when I'm doing uh, like a 180, right. and I get a tighter U shape. I can use this to kind of stretch it out a little bit better, and you know do something more not as extravagant as this, but you know something right. more of a rounded type of shape uh, gotcha. like that, just to do a bunch of different things because. Cool. You know, the goal is to get from A to B. Right. And, you know, how creative do you want to get going there? So I'm going to hand this over sure. to you, boss. So here's your uh, tube. Here's your insert. So silicone insert and a tube. Yep. And then you're just soaking in uh, soap. Yeah, just, right. just, so just dip it in the soapy water. And then you just right. want to cool. kind of get the whole tube kind of wet. I mean, you might have to yeah. stick it in there and then just work it down. Just want to make sure the tube is, you know, it's got a right, good right. amount of liquid on it. Doesn't have to be too crazy. Cool. Okay. And then uh, yeah, I should just insert right in there. It should have you know be it should be tight, but uh, definitely pliable to be able to go in. Right. Because you right. want it to you know not be loose, 
so that way your bends are good. Waiting for the YouTube comments on this. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> liquid cooling is the best when it comes to talking <laughs> about this stuff. All right, so we've got this in now. What? Okay, heat so gun? yep, heat gun time. So let's let's get sure. this over here in a good little spot. Now, I mean, you can do this a bunch of different ways. Right. One of the easiest ways is you know setting it up like this. I mean, sure. most of these heat guns have this design now. Right. You know, you'll turn your heat on here, and then as you put your tube, you know, you'll pick a spot where you want to uh -huh. do your ninety. And then you just put it over maybe and about an inch away. Around. Yeah. And then just continue to rotate it. Now one of the tricks is is making sure that you're keeping it in that central okay. location. You're not floating around got back it. and forth like that. So you're always heating that same area. Okay. Gotcha. And as you go, yeah, spin it keep it just spin a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. Doesn't have to go too fast. And uh, yeah, just kinda wait. You'll start to see the magic happen. Right. Um, it'll start I to become a little pliable. Yeah, so there it is. Yep, just keep rotating. Don't forget to keep the rotating going. And then once you feel like you know you're gonna you could bend it kind of in a 90 degree thing, right. it's probably gonna be pretty good. Okay, so let's and then let's we'll try this. Yeah, let's go ahead and shut this off. And, and then, then come down yourself. to the 90. Yep, and then yeah, just, just kind of and then usually just try to try to push this in uh -huh. right here. Don't you know, don't burn yourself because it does right, get pretty right, right. warm. But yeah, hold it there. And 20, then it's just 20 seconds. Yeah, should be pretty good. So then it's just uh, solidified like that, you remove the insert. Move and the insert, and, and then now you'll be set to do your cuts, mm. so that way you can get everything fit, you know, right. for where you're going, and or if you need to make adjustments and everything, you can always, you know, pull it out and, you know, get it ready. Don't, don't want to start a fire here. <laughs> but yeah, All right, see, so there we go. Yeah, and I mean, is it is it feel like it's already pretty rigid? Seems Maybe it's like, a little soft still. Yeah. But yeah, you can just kind of just wait it out a little bit. A lot right, of it's right. the the waiting in between. You know, sure. each bend you have to heat. You have to cool, and you right. just want to make sure you go slow enough so you don't interfere with multiple bends. Right. Yeah. Very cool. So there's the basics of how to do a 90 degree bend. We might be looking at more of this stuff in the future, looking at uh, hopefully something like a P3 and yeah. set up as a wet bench, basically, because we're starting to get those open loop cards into review. So uh, thank you for the tutorial. Hey, absolutely. I appreciate you guys coming out. Yeah. As always, more information in the description below. Patreon link in the post video. Help us out directly. Subscribe for more. I'll see you all next time.